to my beautiful wife, who I love very much. Bianca script that move too? Scott. Hey, Bianca. Hey. What you got there? This was one of Stuart's. Really? I don't remember that one. Yeah, he uh, he gave it to me a long time ago when I was living in Seattle with my dad. Something to remind me of Pine Valley, I guess. Mm. I, I actually I took it to Paris with me too. But now that I'm home, I, and you're restoring the gatehouse, I thought, I don't know, it belonged here. Are you sure? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, you want to take a walk around? I'll show you what I've done with the place. Ooh. And I'll, uh, I'll call Marissa, have her join us. What's wrong? Is there a problem? Uh, Marissa and I just uh, need a little distance. I, I don't know. Maybe you will too once I tell you what I've done. Did you go to bed early last night because you were mad at me about something? About something? Well, I came clean about Bianca giving me advice. Oh, really? Exactly how much advice was there, JR? One or two conversations? I wasn't counting. Bianca tracked down and bought that music box because she knew how much that song meant to me. And then there was the night at the comedy club. Oh, and the picnic with the donuts that my parents used to take me on. You swore that I told you about that, but I never did, did I? What the hell has Bianca been feeding you? The truth, a concept that is so hard for you to follow. I've been honest with you. You've been selectively honest. You didn't tell me all of it. Okay, okay, I admit, I took a shortcut. Bianca went along with it. Because she knows I can make you happy. You used her. She went along with it because, because she cares about me. And so do I. Look, I'm sorry, okay? It was stupid, it was dumb. I just wanted things to work out. I, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, you're trying to spin me even now. Oh, come on! You, you know, there's always gonna be something that you're trying to hide. I mean, like the last week with all the furtive texting and the checking your phone every five minutes. What is it this time, JR? Yes, I am a walking STD. It was nothing. It was just work. <sighs> Do you know what's sad is that you could be telling the truth and I still wouldn't believe you. Scott was right. Lying and manipulation don't skip a generation. You are just as bad as Adam. Ah, uh, I cannot believe you did that. I thought that I was helping her. By pushing Jair and Marissa together? I told you, he's only gonna hurt her again because that's what he does. Yet you still encouraged him? Well, she was happy with him. How could you let him use you like that? Well, maybe I was using him too. What? What could Jr. possibly do for you? You know, sometimes I, I used to look at this painting and see Stuart's face. I could feel his heart. Your dad loved unconditionally, purely. It's the kind of love that all the rest of us are just trying to... Hey. hey, hey. I just wanted her to be happy. I know you did. I mean, she's your friend. You care about her the same way I do. And I'm sure you were just trying to bring out the good in JR. But Bianca, here's the thing. There is no good in JR. It's all gone. He destroys everything he touches, and he will never change. Oh, good, you're here. Hey, grab a suitcase, start throwing stuff in, and we will come back at the rest of your stuff later. What are you talking about? You, you are moving out of here. I just moved in. Yeah, well, JR's been up to his old tricks, and I don't know if he used guilt or if he pressured you, okay? But, Marissa, you do not have to stay here. I know. In fact, I'm gonna help you and AJ find another place to stay. And once I am done with that gatehouse, you are more than welcome no, to Scott, stay there. Scott, Scott, slow down. I'm not going anywhere. Marissa. JR is not making me stay here. That's my decision. Marissa, he has not changed, okay? He's still the same lying, manipulative jerk he has always been. 
I don't want to talk about this with you. Well, to hear Bianca, it's been business as usual around here. Wait a minute. What does Bianca have to do with this? She stopped by. She told me what's been going down. What exactly did she say? I hope you're happy now. What do you want? You said to be honest with Marissa. I told her that you helped me win her back, and it blew up in my face. Uh, and, and that's my fault? You're damn right it is. She already felt love. She felt appreciated. But, JR, that was a lie. You couldn't expect that to go on forever. Forever? I didn't need forever. I just need a little more time to... Oh, to, to suck her back in? You said that you wanted to help me. But obviously, you couldn't stand not having the credit. Oh, come on. I do not care about getting credit. <laughs> well, obviously, you do. Now Marissa thinks that you know her better than I do. Well, maybe I do. I just wish I... What? What do you wish, Bianca? It doesn't matter. But I'm glad Marissa knows the truth. What's in this for you? I thought you wanted your friend to be happy. Yeah, more than you'll ever know. You care about Marissa, don't you? Yeah, you know I do. Then why did you turn her against me? You agreed to help me. Yeah, that was my mistake. That was me believing you were sincere this time. And now you don't. Look, I don't doubt that you love Marissa in your way. I just don't think you're capable of giving her what she wants. Who is? I, I have no idea. Oh, come on. You're Bianca. You, 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 you're so wise and you got these opinions. If I'm not the man that's right for Marissa, then who is? <laughs> but that is so typical JR. What is? But believing that Marissa can't get along without a man in her life. You know, it's funny. You still haven't answered my question. Marissa is a smart, strong, independent woman who has managed to have a career while also raising a terrific son, sometimes in spite of a man. Whoa! Whoa, take it easy. Uh, where did that come from? I didn't mean to bring on all the, the man hate. Oh, come on, JR. You know I don't hate men. I don't even hate you. I just don't believe that you're the answer to all her prayers, that's all. But I bet you do know who it is. When the right person comes along, yeah, I trust Marissa to be smart enough to know it. It's Scott, isn't it? Isn't it? So when she told me she was playing Cyrano for JR, I just, ooh, just so disappointed in her. No, I don't blame Bianca. I don't even blame JR. He was just being himself. I blame me for falling for it again, for being scared. What? You scared? What are you... you are one of the bravest people I know. <laughs> no, no, not so, not so brave. I'm terrified. Of what? I'm too terrified to even say it. I have to go. Well, where? No, I'm, I'm going to go find Bianca. Well played, cousin. Could have done it better myself. Hey. Hey, back. Did a couple carve their initials in this tree? Uh, people don't do that anymore. They post it on social networks. That's too bad. It loses something in the translation. Computers crash, but a tree. I, um, I thought we agreed to keep our distance. I miss my friend. So do I. Why did you come back to the house? I, um, had to drop something off for Scott. It's not completely true. I wanted to make sure you were doing okay. So, are you? I'm not sure. I allowed myself to trust JR again. Again, I got a judgment. And I helped him. Why did you do it? I thought that being with him was what you wanted. Even though you wanted... Okay, I knew, I knew you'd never feel that way about me. So, what now? 
I think from now on, I need to ignore my better judgment and do the exact opposite. But what is your better judgment telling you to do? To run. To run like hell. Well, if you want to run, go ahead. Nobody's stopping you. Nobody but me. I have been running ever since I found out that all those wonderful things JR did for me came from you. Or no, wait, no. Maybe it was even before that when we went away with the kids and you told me how you felt. Or maybe it was even when we were trapped in that closet and we had to depend on each other to survive. I knew something was going on even then, but I just couldn't accept. I'm talking too much, aren't I? Yeah. 